was here. So this is where you've been hiding. I'm not hiding. I'm just eating my lunch. What do you got in the basket? A couple of salami sandwiches and an apple. Hey, how come you never eat lunch with us anymore? You know, I bet he's got a couple steak sandwiches in there. Hey, come back here. <laughs> Give me my sandwiches. Oh, it is salami. Well, this is awful. Here. Well, you can eat it on your way, wherever you're going. You know, somehow I get the feeling he's trying to get rid of it. You know, I think you're right. Well, you are right. Come on, you guys. Beat it, will you? Well, what a grouch you turned out to be. I'm not a grouch. I just happen to enjoy eating my lunch here where it's nice and quiet, where I can relax and be alone with my thoughts. Now, that doesn't make any sense. Well, no, to you guys it doesn't. But I happen to be a little more sensitive to these things. I enjoy the beauties of nature. Hi, Wally. Oh, hi. It's a lovely day, isn't it? Yes, it is. Now it's beginning to make sense. The beauties of nature. Boy, you're not kidding. Who is she? Well, she happens to be a very lovely, talented girl who has all the friends she needs and who isn't interested in meeting anybody else. Oh, now that's a likely story. Look, just introduce us and we'll leave quietly. Well, in the first place, she's not your type. Well, she's a girl, isn't she? <laughs> Come on, Wally, who is she? I won't tell you. Well, you might as well. We're not going to leave till you do. Well, I have a feeling I'm making a terrible mistake. But her name is Louise, and she's an art student, and she's been working on a landscape, and I've been working on getting to know her. So goodbye, adios, au revoir, de zane, au revoir, sayonara, aloha, and bon voyage. Louise, huh? Oh, come on, you guys, you said you'd go. Well, we are going. We are? Yeah, we're going over to watch your paint. Oh, no, you don't. You can come with us. Hey, wait a second, Fred. Maybe this isn't quite fair. In what way? Well, Wally's already met the girl. Why should he come with us? I think he ought to stay here. Oh, yeah? Just try and make me. Oh, that's a spirit. Come on, you can introduce us. Let's go, Fred. <laughs> I had a feeling I was making a terrible mistake. <laughs> uh, is it okay if we watch for a minute? Sure. Are these friends of yours? Uh, well, yes and no. Uh, my name's Rick Nelson, and that's Fred Stacy. Hi. Hi. My name is Diane. Uh, Diane? Yeah, I had my fingers crossed. Uh, I, I like your painting. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Gee, it's real nice the way you have the sun shining through the trees there. Well, thanks. I was trying to get sort of an unusual effect. Oh, it's beautiful. Very realistic. Uh, that's Naples yellow you use there, isn't it? Yes, it is. Now, how did you know that? Well, I'm very interested. It's in... on the tube. Uh, isn't this about finished? Yes, I think it is. Uh, she told me she was going to do a portrait next. Oh, gee, that sounds interesting. Well, it will be if I can find an interesting subject. Oh, that shouldn't be too difficult. <laughs> I don't imagine you'll have to look very far. <laughs> you like to paint portraits? Well, I haven't done too much of it, but it's a lot of fun. Of course, it's a little tough on the subject. He has to sit for such a long time. Well, I don't see why anybody would mind that. I sure wouldn't. What about you, Rick? Oh, gee, I don't know. It might be a little embarrassing to sit there and have somebody stare at you. Oh, you get used to it. As a matter of fact, you have a very interesting face. Why don't you let me paint a portrait of you? Oh, well, thanks, but I don't know. I... Well, don't force him if he doesn't want to. But he didn't say he didn't want to. Well, obviously he doesn't. Actually, the more I think about it, it might be fun. Oh, I'm sure you'd enjoy it. Can you meet me here tomorrow at the same time? Well, yeah, I guess so. Well, good. I'll see you tomorrow, then. Here, let me help you with this stuff. Thank you. My friend, he turned out to be. I think he's trying to back out. Are you kidding? Well, what are you so upset about? I thought you were interested in some girl named Louise. Well, at least there's one consolation. I won't have to sit out here all alone tomorrow eating salami sandwiches. Come on, Fred. How about the zoo? That doesn't cost anything. Yeah, the zoo. Put that down, Wally. Well, wait a minute. If you go to the zoo, you got to buy peanuts to feed to the elephants. Well, don't give them to the elephants. Make it a lunch date and eat them yourself. Yeah. Are you kidding? How cheap can you get? Well, that's the idea, to save money. Okay, the zoo. Any other ideas? Let's see what we got. The museum, the planetarium, listening to records, window shopping. After the store, the clothes. Naturally. Well, I guess that's about it. Gee, this stuff doesn't sound very exciting. Hey, how about going down to the Emporium and riding the escalators? Well, it was just a thought. I guess that's about it. Well, now all we have to do is go over to the sorority house and tell the girls. Wait a minute. Why don't we wait till tomorrow? I got a big day tonight. Where are you going? Well, I'm not sure yet. Well, I'll tell you where you're going. You're going to pick her up and then take a long walk and wind up at the Penny Arcade. Then on the way home, you're going to stop by the candy machine for a couple of chocolate bars. Maybe I'd better make believe I'm sick and call off the date. Yeah, maybe I'll call mine off 